Hello everyone, Maximus with Awin Website Pro. And today we're going to be talking about LibreOffice and changing the theme. We'll go ahead and go to our search and I'll type in Libre and bring up the LibreOffice Writer. Now I'm operating in Windows here, but you could do this in Linux and Macs, uh, Mac OS as well. So this is the Libre Office Writer. Let me go ahead and bring up the Libre Office Calc 2. I could do it from here in my search, or I could just go right here in Libre Office and bring up Spreadsheet. And you could see the theme is just the default theme that comes when with LibreOffice whenever you install it. Okay, I'm just going to drag this over. Uh, the one thing that I would have you take note of is see the tools menu and the spreadsheet, the tools menu and the writer, and also in the other LibreOffice applications you will have the tools menu and that's what we're going to be operating from to change the theme. Now this will change the theme across all of the applications within the LibreOffice writer. What we'll do is we'll go to tools, Scroll down here to the bottom where it says options, where you could hit Alt F12 or Option F12 on a Mac. And what we'll do is we'll go down here to personalization. And right here we see we have selected default look. Do not use the themes, but now we want to use the pre-installed theme. We'll choose the dark one, hit apply, and you will notice now the background across the top is dark and notice as well it has changed on the spreadsheet too okay now the next thing that you can do uh, to customize it even further is you come down to application colors right here and instead of using the um, the automatic settings you could go here and start choosing we'll choose the dark gray number one and we'll just go ahead and select a bunch of these dark gray number one dark gray number one hit apply and now you'll notice a gray background on your canvas okay and a lot of people like that uh, you could give it a name and then hit save d a r okay all right the next thing that you might want to do is if you notice up here your icons, especially whenever you get to your numbered list, your bullet list, it's hard to see. So you may need to change your icons. How you do that is up here under LibreOffice, you'll go down to View and see the icon style is automatic. In the drop down, we can select Breeze Dark and hit Apply. And you'll notice it makes the icons easier to see. There's other options too, like if we go down here to uh, C for SIFR, we could use the scalable vector graphic plus dark. Let me go ahead and hit apply. And you'll see now that we get this ki these kind of gray icons. Personally, I like the breeze uh, dark. So I'm just going to leave mine there. The next thing that you can do as you can adjust the toolbar size. I have mine on automatic, but I can also put mine to small. And if I hit apply, you can see now I have a smaller icons up there. And the same is true across my applications in LibreOffice. Okay. You can also do the same with your notebook bar and your sidebar if you like. I'm going to change all mine to small because I have a large monitor so I don't need them as big. Now if you have a smaller monitor you might need them to be a little bit bigger. Alright and I'll just simply hit apply and that'll apply the, um, the new settings across my LibreOffice applications. Alright and just to show you uh, we will go ahead and well, in fact, I can do it from right here. Let me just click OK. So that sets it. And uh, we'll come up here. And maybe we'll bring up the drawing. And now you can see that on my drawing now, I have the gray background. OK. Now you can go here to Tools. You'll notice Tools and Options are on every one of them. If you don't like it, you can access it from any application within the LibreOffice. 
This is Max with AM Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has been beneficial to you. I'll see you in the next one.